All right, checking out the tropics. Again, we still do not have a name system out there. Invest 97 is the one in the Caribbean. We'll start there. You definitely see kind of that broad circulation. So it is trying to get better organized, but it is struggling. Dry air and wind shear are really preventing anything from happening in the Caribbean. However, this is 98. It does look a little bit better organized. However, as I was also pointing out yesterday, there's a cluster of storms here and a cluster of storms off to the east. It does look like the storms off to the east may be weakening a bit right now, but there is definitely a broad circulation here and here. So neither of these systems has gotten better organized. So the computer models don't really have a center of circulation to grab onto to get a far better uh, uh, accurate track and intensity forecast. However, we are looking at kind of the overall motion of these waves if they do nothing else but become tropical waves. 97 is going to be moving toward the Yucatan. This is going into Sunday and we may be seeing 90 somewhere in the northern islands. Then as we continue, models kind of differ as to taking 98 either along the east coast or perhaps into the eastern Gulf of Mexico. And we're starting to see maybe a little bit more agreement with the models. The euro takes 97 toward Mexico and then 98 maybe into the eastern Gulf. The GFS 97 perhaps toward Mexico or maybe eventually toward southern Texas. And then here is 98 eventually moving more into the Gulf. Again, we we still have a lot of time to go with what it is, could be our new our next name storms, but there is still a great deal of uncertainty with both of those. Right now, it looks like it would be increasing our rain coverage as we get into early next week. But again, at the moment, we still do not have a name system. And until we do, we're still going to have a lot of dramatic changes in those forecasts.